He'd call at two in the morning, then swing by your house a few hours later in his beat-up pink Thunderbird. There's a new route to climb, and never mind where. Just get your stuff together, and gas money. It's a 900-mile drive. He was born in 1923 near Cologne, Germany. His family immigrated to Seattle, Washington when he was three. During high school, he started climbing with his brother, Helmy, in the North Cascades. Never tell him about any secret climbing area. He probably knows about it anyhow, and if he doesn't, he'll steal all the routes. In 1942, he and Helmy made the second ascent of one of British Columbia's great peaks, Mount Waddington, 7,000 feet of vertical rock and ice. He was barely 19. Over the following six decades, he would partner with many of the world's most celebrated mountaineers and would bag more first ascents than any climber before or since, including new routes on Mount McKinley, Mount Hunter, and Mount Deborah, three of the hardest summits in the Alaskan range, and some of the first instances of alpine-style climbing on big mountains. Don't invite him over for Thanksgiving. He'll scarf all the food, then hit on your mom or your sister. By then, your house looks like a war zone, and he's motoring for Zion or Baja, California. He was never just scaling mountains, he was studying them. His various published books are labors of love and the work of a meticulous scholarly researcher. He invented the climbing life and for over 70 years he showed us how to live it and to keep living it. When he turned 90 a few weeks ago, he scaled a three pitch moose dog tower out of Joshua Tree. On behalf of Adidas, it gives us great pleasure to introduce the 2013 Outdoor Industries Lifetime Achievement Award to America's most colorful, eccentric, and prolific mountaineer, the one and only Fred Becky.